And Rob, the victim tells me he was just trying to leave for work as he normally does every day at around 1:45 in the morning when he was quickly approached by this suspect at gunpoint. Now he tells me he thinks the suspect was going to kill him had it not been for the quick actions of his neighbor, who turned out to be a retired Chicago police officer, a man he describes as his guardian angel. The paralyzing cracks of gunfire captured on a doorbell camera on the 300 block of North Mayfield show the heart pounding moments a retired Chicago police officer intervened while a neighbor was being carjacked. I used to give me your money, give me your wallet, give me your keys and start your car. The victim who did not want to be named says he is alive and speaking with us today because of the bold actions of his neighbor. Every morning as I get up and leave out this door to go to work, he opens that door every morning to let me know that he's watching me. Every single morning? Every single morning. The retired officer of 30 years who did not want his face shown on camera describes the moments leading up to the shootout in front of his home. I grabbed my gun and ran outside and positioned myself behind a tree. At that point, it is going to be me or him. That retired officer says he fired a dozen times and tells us the carjacker fired back even more. The former officer's thumb now bandaged from a graze wound while his car's rear window is left shattered from the gunfire with a bullet hole visible in the passenger seat. He believes he struck the suspect at least once, who ultimately took off in the victim's Jeep before crashing into several cars parked a few blocks away at Huron and Waller. Police say the suspect has still not been located. Now that it didn't happen, so, you know, every day of my life I come out sad. I'm going to always think that something like this is probably going to happen. The victim says he is just grateful to still have the ultimate gift. Life, life, God and life being here because that situation could have turned totally different. And Judy, the victim tells me his car is now totaled, so he's left trying to figure out how he's going to get to work every day. Of course, Chicago police continue to investigate. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.